I didn't, I didn't write that. <laughs> the definition of revolution is love. My name is Che. I was named Che by my grandfather, who was a paratrooper in the 183rd Airborne. And then when he went through the jungles of Vietnam, he went through an experience that made him come back and name me Che. My name is Ryan Fest. I've traveled around the world. I've been to Israel, Australia, Jerusalem, Hong Kong, all around Europe, Canada. I'll wait for your phone. I've been all around the world. I've been all around the country. And everywhere that I've been, I've seen the same common problems, but I've seen them met with uncommon solutions. My name is Smith. I am a third generation woodlawn. My son is Solomon. He is fourth generation woodlawn. The people that allowed me to be here today, when we talk about Catherine Haskins, who went around the community and offer young people jobs for the summer when they were being inactive. No, no programs were serving them. No leadership was apparent to them. Small business people in this ward, like Catherine. Catherine offered these kids jobs right here in this office spot. And jobs not to benefit her, but for them to come in and make a job for themselves, washing and detailing cars. She had a U-Haul business here, a storage business here, and she employed the community. These are the people that I want to engage. My grandmother, when my family, my grandmother who was standing right behind me right here, when my family moved from Missouri in the 60s and settled in the Woodlawn area in 63 and 64, my grandmother tells me often about a cottage grove and a king drive that she walked down and people said hello to each other. People bought plates of food to each other. They turned the music up, they turned the music down. They gave people odd jobs to do for money. They respected each other. These people still live in this war, but they're not engaged. These people still exist right here in the 20th Ward in Woodlawn, Washington Park, Inglewood, back of the yards. These are the people that we are going to engage. You have Athena Mitchell, the block club leader, neighborhood association leader, who was throwing festivals for children on the block every summer out of her pocket not getting help from leadership. She's doing it out of her personal responsibility and commitment to the community. These are the people that we are going to engage. You have Beverly Davis, who runs Prosperity House and saves women, young men and women, gives them beds to sleep in, food to eat. It shouldn't be made hard to help people. And in this war, for the people who have been living here, who have been doing, it has been made hard for them to just help, as if they don't want the people from the war to be engaged. No, these are the people that we are going to engage. This is the war that we are going to take back for the people who live here. We are the 20th war, and we will reclaim our grace who we once were. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. We just got to reinstate it. Now, I, I want to speak more about putting Illinoisans back to work, extending programs like that. When brothers and sisters are coming home from the penitentiary, 
how do we reinstate them into the community? See, we need to be talking about this. These are the people we live next door to. But not only that, there are people in this ward who have wonderful careers and wonderful jobs. Where are their props at? You know, they, they live next to a home that has been boarded up. And, and they want to buy that home so that their property value doesn't go down. But the community makes it hard. The city makes it hard for people of means to purchase property right next to them. Residents need to be owning their community. Our businesses don't need to just survive. They need to thrive. These are the people that we are going to engage. My name is Chank Rhinefest Smith. And if you have any questions, I'll answer. Why are you running these cops and do you not just talk about Hold on, we'll wait for that.